Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two questions for you. You may stop video here, try to choose a correct answer for each question and uh, when you will be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. What area of the gene does the RNA polymerase bind to? And here we have four answers to choose from. So let me start from the end of this list, start codon. So imagine if this is going to be RNA, uh, somewhere here we would have start codon. We wouldn't have it uh, at the very beginning. So this is not going to be the first codon, because for example, if this is going to be message RNA of prokaryote, here we would have Scheindel-Gardner sequence to which uh, ribosome would attach in order to start uh, translation. So uh, we can uh, cross out this answer. Answer C, intron. Uh, once again, uh, introns usually we can find in uh, eukaryotes. Prokaryotes doesn't uh, normally have uh, introns. Uh, I would say that uh, over 90% of the uh, genes in prokaryotes doesn't have introns and only very few genes have uh, introns. So uh, introns during the process of transcription would be transcribed and uh, we are going to get a pre mRNA and then would be spliced off. So uh, uh, the final uh, message RNA would uh, contain only uh, these sequences that code for uh, actual protein synthesis. So, uh, and of course, uh, we may have uh, alternative splicing and uh, from single gene or single uh, message RNA due to alternative splicing, we may get different variants of the uh, mature message RNA that would code for different variants of the uh, proteins which we would call uh, protein family because they would be uh, very close in structure to each other. So we can cross out answer C, this is not intron, and of course this is not exon. So we have left with only one answer, which is promoter, and uh, if, for example, this is going to be double-stranded DNA, and say somewhere here we would have a uh, region that would code for uh, gene in order for RNA polymerase to bind and to start the process of um, transcription uh, producing message RNA it has um, to bind to some place uh, in the upstream region of the gene. For example, if we would have uh, somewhere here start codon in the upstream region, uh, we may find a promoter. This is a place to which uh, RNA polymerase would bind. And we have a minus 10 uh, promoter and minus 35. Uh, these two numbers stand for the uh, how many bases upstream uh, from the start codon we can find uh, these promoter sequences. For example, in bacteria in minus 10 region, promoter sequence would be Tata AT, and uh, this is uh, conserved sequence but uh, in different genes uh, some of the uh, bases here can be different. As you see this sequence is rich with uh, thymine and adenine 
and uh, other strands of the DNA also would have uh, adenine, thymine, adenine, thymine, thymine, and adenine here. Why uh, we usually find this basis here? Because um, adenine and thymine has two hydrogen bonds and guanine and cytosine has three hydrogen bonds. So in this place for uh, RNA polymerase would be easier to break these uh, hydrogen bonds in order to start uh, this process of uh, transcription. And of course in uh, for example in prokaryotes uh, RNA polymerase also needs uh, transcription factors that help to uh, bind to this region and start transcription and these uh, factors would be two alpha subunits, beta subunit, beta prime subunit and sigma factor. So these five uh, proteins plus RNA polymerase uh, would make holoenzyme and we call holoenzyme uh, these uh, proteins when these uh, proteins would assemble in one structure that would initiate uh, transcription. And next question, uh, the synthesis of messenger RNA is called translation. Is it true or false? Imagine that this is double-stranded DNA and this is transcription bubble and here we see messenger RNA synthesis and uh, we call this transcription and when messenger RNA would be uh, produced uh, with the help of the ribosome uh, protein would be produced protein uh, which represent sequence of the amino acids that is coded by uh, sequence of the uh, messenger RNA, uh, sequence of its codons. So this process we call transcription and this process we call translation. So the synthesis of the messenger RNA is called transcription. So in our case the statement is going to be false. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.